Hello everybody, and a very warm welcome to LMT YouTube channel. Meghan Markle empowers Prince Harry to live his best and true life. It seems as if Meghan, Duchess of Sussex and Prince Harry make headlines just about every day. Ever since they entered into a serious relationship, the couple has been taking all sorts of backlash from the tabloids as well as various people around the world. They have been pretty adamant about wanting their privacy, and the unfortunate fact is that they have yet to get that. In a short time span, Prince Harry and Meghan have moved from London to Windsor, before spending some time in Canada and finally taking up residence in Meghan's hometown of Los Angeles, California. Despite the fact they have, on more than one occasion, asked for the media to back off and give them the space that they deserve, it hasn't exactly worked out that way. Even so, Prince Harry and Meghan are going strong, and this is reflected in the humanitarian work that they continue to do. Here is how Meghan empowers Prince Harry to live his best and true life. A whirlwind romance and a happy marriage. Not too long ago, Prince Harry was known as the world's most eligible bachelor. He had a few serious girlfriends over the years, but even so, it didn't appear as if the prince would be walking down the aisle anytime soon. All of that changed, however, when he was introduced to an American actress, Meghan, on a blind date. Prince Harry and Meghan of them knew pretty quickly that they were about to embark upon something truly special. The couple fell in love quickly and before long, Meghan was sporting an absolutely gorgeous engagement ring on her finger. A few months later, they got married in a lavish ceremony in Windsor, England, and officially became the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. After the wedding, Meghan and Prince Harry resumed living at Nottingham Cottage on the grounds of Kensington Palace, where they were expected to stay. Everyone was surprised when they left for Windsor in order to escape the spotlight. From there, they announced that they would be stepping down from royal duties, leaving the world's most famous family. Just about anyone would jump at the chance to be a member of the royal family, but for Meghan and Prince Harry, it was anything but a fairy tale. The couple's royal exit was announced early in 2020, and to say that fans were shocked is quite an understatement. More than anything, the Duke and Duchess just want privacy for themselves and their young son, Archie, and they knew that continuing as senior royals wouldn't allow them to have that. Even some members of the royal family were upset about them leaving, although Prince Harry's grandmother, Queen Elizabeth, gave the couple her best wishes. Now, Meghan and Harry are no longer entitled to use their HRH titles, and they have begun a new chapter of life in California. Still, they find themselves constantly in the spotlight as people jump to conclusions about the royal split. Meghan Markle empowers Prince Harry to live his best and true life. Even though Meghan and Prince Harry still find themselves as the subject of headline news regarding their royal exit, it is now being said that Meghan empowers Prince Harry to live his best and true life. How so? Well, even with all the drama surrounding the couple and a new biography about them, they are still a couple who supports each other. The new book by Omid Scavi and Carolyn Durand reveals how Prince Harry reportedly had been looking to leave the family long before meeting Meghan, and that she simply fit into the plans. While the British media often blamed royal wives, in Harry's case, he was very much on board with distancing himself from the public eye, it's why he gravitated to the military, avoided the pomp as much as he could, and didn't give his child a title. According to the author, Meghan emboldened Harry, Doran said. What has struck me is Harry's commitment to put his royal birthright aside and use his voice to make a difference. In Meghan, he found a partner in that. Scabby further revealed, Meghan emboldened Harry, he needed someone by his side that is strong enough to weather the same storms, but also someone who wasn't afraid of breaking the rules and going against the norm. 
What we see now is a couple doing things their own way. Looks like Meghan and Prince Harry are stronger than fans and critics ever thought, and that they know exactly what they want and how to go about doing it. Thank you for watching the video on LMT channel. Stay healthy and keep safe. And another analysis of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. Prince Harry really wanted his son to be best friends with Prince William and Kate Middleton's children. Prince Harry and Meghan, Duchess of Sussex, officially stepped down from royal duties in March and have been residing in Los Angeles ever since. Now, a new book is putting the spotlight back on what their lives were reportedly like as senior royals and revealing the dream Prince Harry had about his and Prince William's children that didn't materialize. Harry became an uncle for the first time in 2013 when Prince George was born. Princess Charlotte came along two years later and the Duke gushed about his niece and nephew in an interview with the Daily Mail saying, I could never wish them away. They are the most amazing things ever. Prince Harry and Prince William's rift affected their kids' chances of bonding. In the biography Finding Freedom, Harry and Meghan and the Making of a Modern Royal Family, journalists omit Scobby and Carolyn Durant touch on one of the reasons William and Harry's relationship is believed to have deteriorated. A source told the authors, Everywhere you turn, you're surrounded by staff and family. Harry was at a point in his life where he was working with his brother, doing the foundation with his brother, and living by his brother. It was too much. The Duke of Sussex acknowledged the rift with William in the 2019 documentary Harry and Meghan, An African Journey. Harry said, Inevitably, stuff happens. But we're brothers. We'll always be brothers. We're certainly on different paths at the moment. I'll always be there for him, and as I know, he'll always be there for me. The majority of stuff is created out of nothing. As brothers, we have good days, and we have bad days. The prince's feud is also behind why Prince George, Princess Charlotte, Prince Louis, and Archie never spent much time together. Royal expert Leslie Carroll told Entertainment Tonight, The Cambridge children have actually only met Archie a handful of times. Harry envisioned that Archie would be best friends with his cousins. Prince Harry was over the moon when his wife gave birth to Archie on May 6, 2019. However, he knew by then that his previous thoughts about his son being so tight with William's children wouldn't happen. The book claims that Harry had an image of getting married and spending time with William and Kate, the two couples together, their children best friends. The royal children may in fact grow up to be close, but it will be challenging considering that they live over 5,000 miles apart. A royal insider said, The overriding feeling among the family is certainly one of immense sadness. Sadness that Harry and Meghan felt. They could no longer tarry on inside the family, and of course, huge sadness that the family will not get to see Archie grow up as much as they would have. He will miss growing up around his grandparents, his aunt, uncle, and of course, his young cousins. Check out one of our newest videos right here, plus even more LMT videos about your favorite stuff. For coming soon, subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one. Don't stop.